I'm hot. Yes, yeah, so it's hot. You want to come back here? You want to switch spots? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you for understanding. I'm just trying to be helpful, man. This is salsa. And I think that's hot. So that can go over there with you. I'm hot. And this is your... <gasps> Oh, I don't Is that my birria? Is that how you say it? Birria sauce? Bir birria? 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 I don't know. Dip the sexy tacos <laughs> in the red stuff and num 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 num. That's what that sauce By is. By the way, the chilaquiles sauce, I froze it. Did you see? I, I froze it. I can't let that go bad. Oh. So we yeah, shaved put, this. They put extra nibbly bits in the bottom there. Yes. You don't like Takis. No, I don't. I don't actually really either. But something about, oh, something about this together, and it's a spicy mayo. It's got a little bit of stank on it, well, but yeah. I don't want. That's a good weight. <laughs> I want you to know that that one is mine. And it feels good. Oh my God. Train. Train. <laughs> this, is, this is my Cali burrito. Yeah, you've never had that. Never had it. Let's take a oh, So oh. grab some food, my friends. Eat with us. That's what we're going to do today. We'll give you, you all feel, the updates. Feel the heft. I want the heft. Slap me with it. I just spit corn. That's good. Yeah. Uh-huh. Right, so we're going to have to take a bite of this here in a minute, but I want to get the, as much noise off of it as possible because I know what will happen. She'll be like, you're loud. They can't hear you. It when is so cool. good. All right. Oh, and it's like toast. Oh, they grab that top. Okay, I'm excited about. Look how much extra. <laughs> this is like a meal in itself, but we can stop there. And here's your tacos. Heck yeah, man. These are the tacos for the dippings. Iberia tacos. It's like some kind of pulled beef. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. It's like street tacos with grilled cheese on the tortilla. Can you see that on the side, that grilled cheese to it? Onion, cilantro, and then some type of beef stuff. It's incredible. I think that one's satan. Oh, I love, you know, I love satan, so. Yeah, I think it was, I think that's what I saw on the menu. Oh my gosh. Try that. get a fork from a I mean, you've had house. it before, but good lord. I know, I know. We gotta take a picture, can you use your phone? Juicy nibbly bits. So good, but then you dip it in the sauce. There you go, oh, that's the salsa. Thanks. Let me tell you about our day and our time, and then um, next week we go on vacation. I'm on vacation. Water. Water. Something. Tell me if you guys noticed the eating corn in the thumbnail. <laughs> Can I have one of the Zevias? Say which, Zevia? Which one? I don't care. Surprise me. Ginger ale? No. Cola? That one's all right. Black cherry? Eh. Yeah, that sounds We're, good. Oh, God. Well, you didn't quite. <laughs> you, you had an opinion. I'm in a mood. You are in a mood. Eat your food. I know it's because you're hungry. I'm hungry. Thanks for putting up with me. Oh, we got chips and salsa. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Can I have a, a napkin, please? You're wearing pants. You're wearing pants. You'll be fine. And we got chips. Uh, I feel like my face is so red. Of, It's just hot. It's 106 right now, which it's been for days. Get it. So that's the California burrito. So it should have fries in it. Is that mm. what makes the California burrito? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then you pick your protein, and you did the pastor, el pastor. With the pineapple chunks in it, because that was bomb. <laughs> and it's got sauce, guacamole, beans, rice, oh my gosh. French fries, cilantro. It's crazy. And their vegan crema. Crema. Oh my gosh. I picked these just because I love this sauce. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> the pineapple chunks are so good in this. I'm glad she reminded me. Very, very good. Wow. Yes. Yes. 
and chips always for the win. Let me get it. Give me a gimme. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. The fries were all kind of on one side. <laughs> I'm getting to them. It's good. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, Taco Jerian, mm -hmm. we have shared with you guys before. I think multiple times, but I think we even did like kind of a dedicated video of like eating together. I think it's it was been almost, a while was, though. I think it was a year ago. Well, because, or no, 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 it's when we were house hunting. Well, yes, but then, yes, you're right. That's true. But we showed it, that was like in the restaurant. And the only thing that I'm not the biggest fan of with Taco Terrian is the music there is loud, loud, loud. Although the, the one we went to today wasn't as bad, but that one was. Yeah. But then we got, I think during like Vlogmas, we, we ate here. Okay. Yeah. Um, you picked it up one day and uh, it's so good. It's all vegan, the whole place. So there's none of it you have to like ask about or anything. It's, mm -hmm. it's incredible. As much as I would tell you guys, my like two favorite places in Vegas is Modern Vegan. Although I have not been there since we moved here, which sounds like Kim, how's it your favorite then? It's because I know it's my favorite. Yeah. I know it's the best, hands down, the best. It is. It is. So since we moved here, like I'm like, no, I gotta try different places and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Nacho Daddy. Yeah. I love Nacho Daddy because I love nachos, but technically, Taco Terrian for tacos is unreal. Like it's so good. I don't know what like their vegan mayo is or like their crema sauce mm -hmm. that you find in like traditional uh, Mexican dishes and things like that. It's great. I don't know how it's vegan. I don't know if they made or I, I don't know how they made it so good vegan because mm -hmm. it is so creamy and salty and you just, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> There's gotta be a slow mo that whole thing slapping me in the eye. I saw the kernel pop off and everything. <laughs> That's good. You blasted me. Sorry about that. If it wasn't covered in crap, I'd have some. It's so good. Mm -hmm. mm. My friends, we've been going today. We just got home, so I picked this up. Our morning. Mm -hmm. Went for a run. Came home, went down to the farmer's market, which we found comes to a different location, the same one we've gone to now, like same vendors, but go to a different location on Thursdays. Yep. So we went there. And then Nate's on the hunt for some new shorts before we leave next week for Colorado. The problem is finding men's shorts the way like Nate's body he's so tall and stuff too with like the thick thighs i got you me too they thick. <laughs> they they thick thick thighs. Girl. it's hard to find them like that aren't super short too that's like the style i'm like no not for you the tall no no daisy dukes for you <laughs> so i'm a big dude mm -hmm. and i you guys for those of you that have been here for a while you know i was i was very plumper at one point in time very plumper no you my, just more to love my thighs <laughs> never got smaller yeah. guys they became muscular <laughs> the, 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 there's a lot more muscle there but they never got they smaller. didn't shrink mm -hmm. i've always had like these tree trunk legs like my calves his big calves uh, go back see jose jose's jelly of the calves man <laughs> the calves they're like horse calves. I've shown one of my employees who, who's a workout person, I showed him a calf one time. He's like, dude, those are Clydesdales. Like, my legs. So, so jeans are supposed it's to hard fit. hard to find bottom half for him. Yeah, like, literally, like, a few inches up over the knees to my waist is, I just need, I need some more rib. Mm -hmm. I don't need parachute pants, though. Parachute I don't want pants. parachute pants. I don't need MC Hammer pants. I love his references. I don't need MC Hammer pants, but I also don't need, I, I, I don't need to show off my bulge. And when it's tight in the legs, it's tight <laughs> where you got other things too that are in the same vicinity. And <laughs> embarrassing. I do not need a wetsuit style hug <laughs> on my bits. <laughs> Sorry. So that's a story. Um. So so jeans or shorts nowadays, they, they hike them up and they, 
They give do. me a silhouette of things I don't want other people to see. That's one for everybody. Yeah, that's a that's an at home Kim only kind of thing. <laughs> They're just not comfortable. They're just. I mean, he could have just said that from the beginning. They're just not comfortable. They're just not comfortable. But he really <laughs> needed you to understand. Well, I need them to get the visual, but not technically. Uh, they're on the visual, you know. <laughs> this is how you're supposed to do it, by the way. Don't. Because, boom. Don't can go. It's got a little kick. Mm. Mm hmm. So good. We went to the fashion show mall. Is that what it's called? I believe so. We get it confused because where we came from before, it was fashion fair. It was the mall. And this is called Fashion Show. It's like a huge, huge mall. It's very big. It's huge. Very, very big. Yeah, it's part of kind of the strip area. So it's our first time going to it. I've been to it before, like as a kid, but not as like recently. Yeah, it's it, like three stories for part yeah, of it. Yeah, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. And it's two stories for all of it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. There was a Tiffany's there. The normal thing, they still have an Apple store. <laughs> yeah, I guess there's no Apple stores. That's what you're saying. Like, that's like a thing of the past now. Yeah. Or becoming that way. Mm -hmm. Like, not in person. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, no, it was a cool mall. I mean, if you really wanted a, a good mall experience, one of the better malls I've been in. It was so good. Mm. My favorite. But yeah, I went to American Eagle and sure enough, you actually found some that you really liked. I did. So there it was, we got your shorts. We got more hummus at the farmer's market though. First, we're, we spoiled, we love it. You know what's good about Tocotarian too? It's not over salted. Sometimes when you get, sometimes when you get Mexican food, I feel like it can be very salt heavy or lean into salt or heavy. Killed it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like the beans mm. have flavor, but it's not salt, which is nice. Yeah. It's Thursday. This goes up Sunday. We leave for vacation later this week. So this is officially the last vlog before the next vlog is a vacation vlog. Mm-hmm. That you will we'll still be there. You're gonna have to. I'm gonna bring my computer. So yeah, you're gonna have to edit while you're there and everything. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. The next vlog will be up in the sky on the big metal bird that you've been looking forward to to flying. Actually, she hasn't had any panic attacks or freaked out yet. Yeah. Okay. First off, that's pretty good. Cause you ready for this? <laughs> that's pretty good. You ready for this? Hold on. Almost to the hour, one week from where we're sitting right now, we'll have to be getting to the airport to get ready to go. Did you like that? Did ya? You're like 170 hours away from being on a plane, baby. How's that make you feel? I'm gonna throw up. See how she didn't run away? She's doing great. <laughs> doing big things. <laughs> Man. I love this food. I know. You can't have it. You said you didn't want any. You Hold on. Wait, you said it's on film. Oh, you got a hat too? And because I told you <laughs> to show your hat. <laughs> mm. I tried to give you beans like. I'm in a mood. I can tell. Yeah, put it, there you go. That girl. There you go. Mm -hmm. This one. Yeah, but I stole his favorite hat and I always run with it so he don't want it back. It's real sweaty, gross, yuck. No, it's mine. And My lucky hat. Your lucky hat. And then try to rebuy said lucky hat. Doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> that hat got me through Spartan races. Well, you didn't have that then, did you? I bought that hat for training on, that was my trail running hat. That was like the official trail running hat. Well, you broke it in wonderfully for me. <laughs> <laughs> I love beans. I tried to get into you earlier. Mm. It's my first day off in nine or 10 days. Mm -hmm. And I think there's a span in there where I worked 
the first six days that I came back from Austin's birthday, I worked over 70 hours in six days. And then I haven't had a day off. And uh, so it's just been a lot. So I haven't been here, which is why we're all here, right? <laughs> Anywho. I like my beans too. That's delicious. Let me get the rest. I also like my hat. I liked You liked hat. the hat. Like to. To. I'm hot though. Yeah, you are. Don't mean give you my pity face. <laughs> That's what we got. That's who we are. The life we live. These are the days of our These lives. These are the days of our lives. Nap time? High five. <laughs> kind of like a hat. Thought it was yours, but it wasn't. <laughs> she makes jokes about the hat. She makes jokes. I'm actually pissed off. <laughs> I'm actually pissed off. <laughs> I'm really mad. Alrighty, guys. So, made Kim a margarita, and I thought I would just share a cocktail idea with you guys that I literally just made up, and I made one, and now Kim likes it more. So we're gonna share a second one. Um, anyways, just wanted to share it with you guys. It is a blended drink. It is gin based so throwing the measurements here for you we're going to do two and a half ounces of gin for this size cup one half then we are going to use a limoncello um, I have my favorite limoncello. It's the Lester. And this one is the lavender one. So they have a regular one. They have another flavored one. I really enjoy the lavender one. Smells fantastic. We're gonna do one and a half ounces of this. Get a nice little pink hue to it. Then we are going to do a half ounce of simple syrup. This is a two and a half to one water. So it's a very thick simple syrup, but I make it because it's, uh, it's I like making my own. So that's why. Um, if you get some at the store um, or pre-made like Stirrers or, or one of those brands, um, I would do a little bit more. They don't have the same sugar constitution uh, per ounce. Um, so you could do like one ounce of it. It's really just for sweetness to offset it. We're gonna do one ounce of triple sec. And my secret that I wouldn't tell Kim was we're gonna do just a splash of sweet vermouth. So, just any sweet vermouth you got. This is just gonna add a little bit of complexity, give you a little bit more going on. Now what you do is you take all your ingredients here and you're gonna add ice. So you're just gonna add ice to the top of the cup, maybe a little bit over the top of the cup, then we're gonna blend it and come back. Um, the only thing that I'm doing in here that I can't really show is I would put the juice of one lime or one and a half limes in this. We have the little pre-frozen ones, so I'll throw that in there. And Kim just puts them in these little ice trays. So we're gonna pop out two of these guys. Put those in there. Like I said, that's the juice of about one good lime. And now we're just gonna grab some ice. So we're gonna take some ice here and we are going to go just a little bit more than that. It's almost to the top. You kind of want it just over the top, but I'm gonna pour this into there, grab a few more ice cubes. Everything in the blender. 
And now it's blend. And see, there she is, patiently waiting. See how beautiful she is? Look at her. Look at her. All right. All right. And then we're just going back in the same cup. And it smells fantastic. And cheers. There you go. I don't know what to call it. We're just call it a gin citrus frosty. So good. It's creamy. Sweet vermouth. I wouldn't pass on the splash of sweet vermouth. I know it sounds weird, but I actually think that's what carries it. So. Damn. <laughs> you tell me, kid. Okay. That is so good. <laughs> mm. All right. Mm. You're all set. Yeah.